Today we're presenting a run BMC module design using the Intel Cyclone 5 FPGA SLC, an idea initiated by Johan, who owns uh, Alabama Manageability at Intel. My name is Chen Wang. I worked on the overall architecture design of this run BMC module. Casper is leading some of the open BMC firmware work and has helped with making this card a reality. An outline of what we'll cover today, starting with how we got here today. Some background on the platform security, the architecture overview, details on the FPGA usage and signal connections, a little bit on the open BMC firmware and call to action. So why do we make this card? We had a problem in search of a solution. We were designing a comprehensive data center solution and needed a better platform level security than what we had. We also needed a more scalable management engine and a management solution that could be used in a variety of platforms, such as a typical compute server or a headless FPGA server. And last but not least, supporting OCP compliant platforms. So building it run BMC card with the Intel SOC FPGA, running with the open BMC firmware, and incorporating security architecture that supports a platform root of trust looks like a very good idea. With that, this is our prototype card. It's a run BMC card with the Intel Cyclone 5 and Intel Max 10 FPGAs. I would like to briefly touch on the security aspects of this design and provide some background. I'll focus on a few elements of platform root of trust and refer to the server specification for more details, which can be found on OCP website. The security architecture of this module is aimed to support the Microsoft server's high security specification. In the end, we implement the hardware of this module to operate as the platform root of trust or an active component root of trust, meaning it is the server platform design decision to either to make the module the platform root of trust or only the root of trust for the module and response to the challenges of the platform root of trust, like the Intel PFR or any other OEM custom security engine. There is no DICE support in this specific design. That's a device feature. This module does support secure boot and that can be implemented in various ways. The Max 10 device has an on die flash and key revocation can be implemented so we could support large number of keys and the frequency of key revocation isn't limited to a number of fuses. Here we have an architecture overview. In this example, it is connected to a one socket compute module with a run BMC card. The module is divided into two domains, the security domain and the manageability domain. And the manage manageability domain in green contains a Cyclone 5 FPGA SOC, which contains the BMC functionality with a majority of the signals connecting to the baseboard. The signals in yellow are reserved on our connector pinout definition to support a second partition. And it does not break the run BMC specification. The orange section is the security domain. We are defining the MAX-10 to be the module root of trust, where it is the first component to initialize and boot. Once the bit streams of the Cyclone 5 and bootloader are authenticated by the MAX-10, they will be programmed into the Cyclone 5. The Cyclone 5 bootloader will authenticate the open BMC firmware in the BMC firmware flash device. Then this is a sign we're using an EMMC. If the module is a platform router trust, all the hardware and firmware on the platform will be authenticated by the Max 10, such as BIOS. The module allows us to prototype both of these cases and other manageability innovations. This diagram has the internal connections of the FPGA and the card. There are two sections in the Cyclone 5 FPGA, the hard processor subsystem, the HBS, which has the embedded dual ARM core, is running the OpenBMC Yocto Linux stack. The HPS contains some hard IP peripherals such as USB, Mac, and UART that we use to control respective run BMC signals. The other part of Cyclone 5 is the FPGA fabric. The majority of the run BMC IOs are connected to the FPGA fabric in our design. IOs like PCIe, eSpy, SMBus, and etc. are connected to the FPGA IPs. 
This brings flexibility in design choices. For example, we will purpose the unused GPIOs in the connector definition as a second PCIe connection for a second partition. MAX10 is used to implement security features, as I mentioned earlier. This slide captures high-level FPGA features. I won't read through them. It's here for reference. The chart on the right, si right side contains the details of the bus assignment for the module. This diagram shows the internal architecture of the OpenBMC implementation. Intel Cyclone 5 SoC family supports Yocto Linux BSP and the latest Linux solution integrations. So it's fairly easy to integrate OpenBMC with its DBus-based infrastructure on top of Cyclone 5 Yocto Linux. The usage of this FPGA IP block follow the same path as each IP can be easily mapped to Linux memory map I.O. The appropriate Linux driver will export API through DBus interface. Adding customized proprietary extensions follow the same path. And for call to action, we plan to commit the RunBMC PCB module design and the necessary RTL in binary form to OCP at the, by the end of this year. We have a working demo at the Experience Center at the RunBMC booth in video format. And thank you for attending this session. Enjoy the rest of the conference. All right, thanks very much, Tian. Uh, this is Johan van der Grunendel. Do we have any questions? If you have a question, you can use the Q&A tab. Uh, so we have a question. Casper, uh, would you like to answer? Is the source code for the OpenBMC Cyclone stack meta layers available somewhere? Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, this is Casper speaking. Uh, it's not available yet. Uh, we plan to contribute uh, this platform to open BNC uh, targets, but uh, it's not there yet. The um, meta layer uh, for the Cyclone 5 itself, we are using the GitHub uh, um, Cyclone 5 meta layers uh, to support that, uh, and it's uh, available on the GitHub. Right. So the next question, uh, is there a plan to have a mix of FPGA and ASIC? So the Cyclone 5 is a uh, hybrid device. It has a ASIC portion, which includes the, the ARM cores, and then, of course, a flexible logic. And so we use the combination of both uh, to, to, to implement the BMC. Uh, can this module be used for local both BMC and also RMC applications? Um, yes. Uh, essentially what it is is it's defined with a connector definition, and so um, depending on what your processing requirements are, you can use it as an RMC if you so choose. There's no restrictions in terms of implementation. Yeah, so the other question on the chat is, uh, can we um, replay the Max 10 with other root of trust chips such as servers uh, at OCP? Uh, yes, so as indicated in the, in the video, the, this module gives uh, uh, flexibility in implementing the platform active or active component model for root of trust. And uh, uh, because this is uh, based on the Max 10 FPG, there's uh, um, it's easy to uh, um, support different standards than uh, servers like uh, Google Titan uh, or Intel CFR. 
And then there's another question. Um, where can we find more details about the Run BMC module? So Run BMC is an open is an OCP driven um, initiative. So there is a uh, set of specifications on OCP with respect to the the generic definition of the Run BMC connector. And then as we stated, we will be publishing in open source the details of uh, our implementation later this year. Uh, Casper, do you have the estimated power of the Cyclone 5 Run BMC? Um, yeah, so um, I'm not sure if... Uh, so we, we don't have uh, the exact data that we want to share today, um, but uh, we, will, uh, we will provide this data, definitely. Um, uh, there's no, are, there, are there any more questions? Um, otherwise, we will close the session. Uh, yeah, so I, I can see a question. Uh, so do you plan to publish more details on Cyclone 5 hybrid device? So the device that we are using for this module is uh, uh, off-the-shelf device available on the broad market. This is uh, Cyclone 5 uh, SOC FPGA uh, SX part. Uh, you can find all the details uh, on Intel websites. Uh, it's publicly available. Uh, thank you very much for attending the session. We appreciate your time. Um, there is, uh, you know, Shen um, and, and Casper will be available um, at the Experience Center um, if, you're, if you'd like to ask more questions. Uh, thank you very much for attending the session. <laughs>